Hello, so today I am going to work on disassembling my old 24 kilotar battery pack that was in this Nissan uh, ENV200. Okay, I'm going to split it out into individual cells and uh, I might use a few of them myself for projects in the future and we'll also be looking to sell them. So yeah, get in touch if you're interested in some uh, um, Nissan uh, ENV200 battery modules. They're exactly the same as the Gen 2. Uh, Nissan Leaf modules and they're currently at 80, 82% state of health um, so, and, and very well, very well balanced. I've put up a screen sh uh, Leaf by screenshot here. I'm going to be taking all the precautions I can, wearing high voltage gloves, um, eye protection, proceeding slowly, checking everything as we go. So anything you see in this video, um, obviously don't um, do, it, do it at your own risk and um, this is just this is the first time I've taken apart a battery pack so um, this may not be the best way to do it um, but I, hopefully it'll be a logical way to do it. Lots of videos online about disassembling this Leaf battery packs that I've watched but I've not been able to find too many videos about um, Nissan ENV200 battery packs. They use the same modules but the packaging is quite different and the ENV200 also has a cooling system inside the battery pack so i think it'd be quite interesting to have a close look at this cooling system uh it's not been sort of documented that much that i can see in uh in videos online so yeah i'm gonna take a look at that and then disassemble the battery pack down to the individual modules doing what is perhaps the most toughest part of the, the disassembly which is getting the lid off um it's got stuck on with this rather tough black master key material you can see there which waterproofs and seals the pack. So I've been cutting around with this multi-tool with a cutting blade, which has worked really well. You don't need to worry too much about when you're going into the, you know, cutting under here. There's a lip which you hit under there before you, um, you're not gonna put, slice any cells open. <laughs> so let's have a little look around inside. One main thing that's different from the Nissan Leaf pack is uh, this here. This is the heat exchanger and the battery cooler. So that's where the refrigerant lines um, connect into the battery pack. Then they go into this heat exchanger where there's a little fan inside there, a little hamster wheel fan, and that blows cold air around the battery pack. And you can see here this black ducting which runs down to the rear, rear stack here and um, blows cool air out over the rear stack. So there's absolutely no um, evidence of overheating in this pack as sometimes um, I've seen pictures of this rear snack can get, get a bit warm and you actually see visible buckling of the metal but there is uh, this looks absolutely um, perfect. That little bit of dust you can see in there that's just when we lifted the cover off but it was really really clean in here. So now I'm just going to work my way steadily disassembling what I can. Okay, so all the all the bus bar interconnects, connecting the rear stack and the two modules there. Two side module stacks have been removed, so voltage of the pack has been considerably reduced. Got down now to the, we can see the two contactors, um, the positive and negative contactor, and there's the precharge fuse and the precharge relay. Um, that's what allows the capacitors in the inverter to um, charge up slowly and then the main contact is closed. So just remove the service plug module here and it's complete underneath here with a uh, 500 volt 225 amp fuse. Pretty hefty.
I managed to remove one of the one of the side stacks. So we've got it down here. So this is about 100 volts. So much lower voltage than the full full pack. Now I've taken the covers off. We can see all the BMS wires um, that connect into the middle terminal on each battery module. So just in the process of disassembling um, this other side module stack and I found a couple of temperature sensors on there and one there. You can see them, the least by report, there are three temperature sensors in the pack. So we've got those two there and I think there's going to be another one inside the rear stack module. Yay, there we go, success. Actually, it's been fully disassembled. There's the empty shell there. Got lots of components and lots and lots of battery modules. So we cut up these um, the mountain brackets, sort of bottoms, and uh, made us the module stacks of um, four or five modules. That just makes them easier to transport. All these components will be available to uh, to sell. Probably keep a few modules myself for some projects in the future. 